thanks for watching this video uh, welcome back again and in this video I'm going to show you how you can design your own logo how you can design a creative logo in Figma so if you are seeing this uh, logo here I have created this creative fast logo and it's looking you can see this logo is looking very beautiful so you can design your creative logo in Figma or uh, we say uh, we, we, uh, sometimes we think we need Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop but you can design in logo in Figma as well so as in my previous video I talk about um, uh, I talk about the logo design in Figma how you can make some layers and other you know uh, you can make some layers and select typography in Figma so in this video I'm going to show you how you can design a beautiful and creative logo in Figma so let's get started so you can uh, you can now see this logo here and what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you how you can design your logo just make a copy and here what I'm going to do is to first of all create a vector layers <coughs> of this logo so how you can uh, how you can you know build how you can make layers here just first of all easily just first row you can easily select uh, this pen tool you can see the top left corner there are five uh, six seven option here and now you can see the pen tool option create uh, get the pen tool option and now here I'm going to make a layers you can also uh, get this rabbit logo uh, rabbit icon from flat icons and other icon finder and other you know online any other online uh, website also you can uh, let me show you because in my previous video someone uh, asked me someone comment me to show the icon how we can get some icons in Figma let me show you how we can get some icon first of all go to plugins you can see when you click right side you can see the plugins in plugins you have to download and install some many plugins of many icon plugins so I have already installed this iconify so when I click on this iconify it's going to be open this iconify screen uh, just wait for just wait for a second it will show you uh, an another cure it will show you the iconify here it is so it's loading here this plugin is loading and now it's loaded so here you can type any icon you need for your logo designing or for any product you are making in fig you make in figma so you can just easily write here if I need a rabbit icon rabbit if I write rabbit so here you will see a different rabbit icons or you can get some icons from flat icon it's not necessarily important to get it from iconify you can easily get it from flat icon so anyway we can create a logo so I'm going to set this uh, this layers I am making this layer so you can see it you can see how we can make a layers don't you don't need to make each and every round like what people do sometimes they always create this type of round everywhere but you don't need this just make a one or two dot everywhere make here and then again make here little here and and here so this will help you to make a perfect rounded logo if you make it everywhere so it will ha it's, it's really hard to you know set that dots so here you can see You can make a different dots here. 
and here now select this right if you see top left corner here uh, beside the pen tool you can see this option and when you click here it will help you to round this vector uh, lines like the click and drag it above so it will easily create for it will create you create for you easily like this like this so click and drag everywhere wherever you have created this and again I'm going I'm selecting this and here it is you can drag it this arrows you can see two arrows here so just click and drag according to accordingly according to this logo it should be like this okay again I'm going to select this click on each dots uh, like this so that's how you can design and make your vector and each and every each and each layer here because sometimes it's difficult to know about Photoshop because photos have a lot of stuff going on on Photoshop but in Figma it's easy everyone can design logo but you need to just know some uh, aspects of logo designing and some you know uh, Figma tool so again I'm going to select this and creating create these shapes like this so that's how you can design and make this logo So now I have created this shape, rabbit shape here. This simple shape you can create. And now I'm going to create this another shape like here. Again, okay, like this. And again, you can select this. Again, I'm, I'm selecting this and drag it above. Drag like this. You can set this uh, shapes here from this arrows. So now what you have to do is to first uh, is to just click on fill button. You click on fill plus icon. You can see this side on right side you can see the fill. Click plus and it will fill your shape. And if we are seeing here some now okay that's okay. Some of the dots are left, so I'm going to. I'm just setting it out. And how you can make it like this? Both are looking very different, and how you can make this logo I'm going I will show you how you can uh, look and feel like this how you can make a look and feel of this logo like this so watch this video till the end and you will see how you can make this logo like this so 
these are some uh, these are some another shapes just simply give color like this i'm uh, add, am i am i adding this color and re after that remove the boundary remove the stroke remove this stroke hide this stroke or you can mi click on minus it will disappear so so again we, we have to create some shapes we, again I'm going to make some shapes here like this it will help you to create the logo creative logo differently I know it's really it's, it's difficult to design logo in Figma uh, in other tools but when you use it when uh, once you use it you will see it's not very difficult it's easy just you need your creativity you need some your of your creativity and you know some of your creativity it's really matters so much use some real life exile use some real life creative things that will help you to create your create creative and different logo I'm going to I'm, I'm not going to stretch this much okay again set these dots set the layers and then select to drag it in your logo site when you wherever you are designing your logo and again click on plus button click fill and you will get that type of shape it's not very it's not looking perfect because I'm just want to show you how you can design and how you can make that type of layers but not pixel where it's not look I'm not going to make a pixel perfect logo like this because it will, it will take a lot of time so that's why I'm just making it simple for you So it's how you can give this how you can make the logo like this how you can give this type of look and feel you need some color you need to add some color some different color for this like gradient type of when you select you have to select the fill option and make it gradient select linear before it was solid now it's linear okay so click on each uh, rectangle and uh, fill this color fill this dark color and another side gray you can keep the another side lit light like this more whatever you want you can give more you know as many as you can give color different gradient colors between this line like this don't give as but don't give much color because it will uh, 
impure your logo so it's <clears throat> somehow it's looking like that logo you we need to select and create we need to just you know have to work more on this to adjust the layers each and every layer then it will look like same like this logo so this one I like most and now I'm going to show you how you can make this layer again do the same make this type of shape click on each dot like this again click on uh, drag it drag this inside this wait Uh, so you will get this type of shape and fill this and now you can adjust it according to your logo you can adjust it like this according to the logo that's why I did not uh, adjust this way the, that in that logo because we have to adjust it according to our own logo what we are designing right now okay when you set this color uh, when you set all the shapes disable uh, make hide this stroke and give your shape linear color linear gradient share gradient color shape and dark from the inside dark make make it dark from inside and light from otherness another side like this you can see now it's looking uh, similar to that logo but we need to again set the set some shapes after this after all this it will look same exact same like that logo Uh, and you set all this now I'm going to create this C but first we have to set this as well that will give another that will give much creativity in this logo so for instance I'm going to just copy that shape and put it here because if I make it so my video will be get more uh, longer much longer I'm going to copy these eyes as well copy the eyes and paste it here now make C again select pen tool I'm using shortcut here you can also use shortcut from keyboard click here again click this click here this click here select the beside option and make it round make it round like this once you make this round select move tool and set this logo set this C vector and okay after all this make select the stroke and make it bold 
like this. Okay, inside this, I inside uh, this vector, give some color like blue. And make it in backside. You can use con uh, control some shortcut keywords to make to uh, you know uh, make it back. I'm just. Uh, you can also use this. Right click on right, and send it back. Click on this logo and click on this c vector and send it back like this so now it's looking same similar to this you have you can also make this path and do this shape but for now i'm going to just copy this and pasting here i'm going to give some other color now it's looking same like this. Select some text and typography. I get small set so creative write creative fast. You can design with your own creativity different fonts, different layers, different you know styles, another trend you can use in your own logo and just this is my I like this so I use it like this we have to make some okay also you can but beware when you creating the shapes because you have to check each and every uh, each and every corner each and every everything that the layer should be always should be good from everywhere because you can see some layers are not properly maintained in this icon because it will take too much time to you know much time to set all the icons all the shapes and other points make it give some color to the, your typography and then your logo design your creative logo design will be done so that's how you can design your logo in figma so hope you like this video and understand how you can make your creative logo in figma if you have any question anything regarding this logo designing and how you can grow your logo designing skills in figma more faster so you can comment me below if you have any other question and i will see you in next video thank you thank you so much for watching this video again you can see last time how it's looking it will look like this after designing the shapes and everything properly it will look like this so thank you so much for watching this video thank you